What's the score here? As he said, it's a pen. You're lying. Oh, it's VAR for the penalty. Referee, are you mad? It went off his knee. Oh, it fully went off his hands. It's fully a penalty. Oh, it's fully a penalty. Oh, James Milner. I thought you'd done something good there as well. Why is his hand there? He's trying to do dance. What are you doing, Milner? Are you being deadly serious right now? Oh, fuck. Oh, I'm, I'm trying to swear less on streams, but this is ridiculous. Oh, this is an abomination. Oh, and it's Zielinski. Remember when we were linked with Zielinski in like 2014 when he was 16 and supposed to be the next Iniesta? Oh, let's see if he's Iniesta now. No, go on, Zielinski. Let's see if you're Iniesta now. He's fully Iniesta. He is the Polish Iniesta, lad. Oh, fucking no, Liverpool! Are you mad? What are you doing? Because already we're on the back foot of the game. And that's what I'm annoyed about. It's not even the fact that we conceded the penalty. Listen, handballs can happen. But the main thing is, is that we haven't started the game and took control. And Jürgen Klopp before the game was talking about playing that football and stuff. Well, you can see that our confidence is all over the gaff. All over the gaff. And Napoli already are 1-0 up in a game where really... It's a game that we should be winning still. If you go on the basis of how good we was last season, we should be winning this game of football. No ifs, ands or buts. I think he's got to take a men on. Joe Gomez has just been done again. It's the thing about Joe Gomez. He can have a very good game and then he can have a very, very off game. That is the common theme. The very common theme. And here's the ball. And here's a goal. And it's 2-0 to Napoli. And they're in the lead. And we've been dead shit. And he was wide open. And we never fucking got in on him. We never marked the man. We relied on the offside trap. We never fucking succeeded at the offside trap. But now we're 2-0 down in a game of football against Napoli Football Club, which is sad because they're a good football team. But we should be better. And that's not good enough. That, that is not good enough. Are you mad, Liverpool? You need to sort this shit out. Because, you know, all of you, you were there complaining to each other. Do you know what? That screams to me. That screams to me. Players that are getting fuming at other people when they're the ones doing mistakes as well. Joe Gomez, not good enough. And this is why I said I would have started Joel Matip. If he was on the bench for the Everton game, it really would have made sense to maybe give him a shot in this game. Someone who's going to be able to play the ball out from the back, but is also considerably and significantly more composed than what someone like Joe Gomez is. And I like Joe Gomez. How is it Klopp's fault when he has absolutely no one to choose from? Um, the thing is, he does have players to choose from, and he's still persistent to start. And like, they might not be the best options where they compete us, you know, for league titles and stuff. But he can put in better performances than this. And it's three 0 It's three 0 against Napoli. It's actually three 0 against Napoli. Are you mad? Oh, when he's oh my God, are you actually crazy? A kid who's just scored on his Champions League debut. A kid who's just scored on his Champions League debut. We are gifting out debut goals for Bante. For Bante. Liverpool Football Club. The mighty Liverpool Football Club. Who, by the way, got to a League Cup final, FA Cup final, Champions League final. And on top of that, a Premier League title race that went all the way to the last day. And, couldn't, and we didn't win because Aston Villa couldn't keep hold of a lead. And here you are seeing a number 99 from Napoli absolutely skilling the fuck out of our players, going into the box, actually putting... Look at that defending! Trent! Was that Trent or was that Gomez again? Oh, it was Gomez again! It was Gomez again! He's actually had the way... This player, these players on that side have gave Joe Gomez the nightmare of his life. Bring on Joel Matip and do it now because this is a disgrace. Oh my goodness, a disgrace. Oh, this is embarrassing. Oh, this is, this is very embarrassing. Everyone as well. Oh, defensively, we've been shambolic. Attacking-wise, we've been pathetic. In the midfield, we're getting overrun every single time. Napoli want it more than us. They want to actually go... If you look at these two teams, you, you, if, if you talk to a football fan and say, these two teams, right, let me change the score. Oh, for, oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, for fuck's sake. 
I was not ready. I, when I came back to YouTube this season, I was not ready for this bullshit. But the one thing that we need to avoid is these counter-attacks and stuff like that. And Matip's better than that. It's 4-0. Chat. It's actually 4-0. You have got to be taking the piss. Oh, did you see that fan? That, that Lucas Paqueta looking ass motherfucker. And he's there like this. Oh, Liverpool. Oh, Liverpool. Oh, user. Oh, user ruining my night. Oh, I do not want to talk. Oh, I do, I do not want to talk. This is an abomination. Oh, did you see that egghead-looking kid in the crowd there doing that? Oh, I don't want to talk. I don't want to do this no more. Oh, this is terrible. Joe Matip didn't do great. Alisson done what he needed to do. And the defenders weren't alert. And you let them through. And straight away, they've scored. And we're playing the worst season of football that we've ever played in our lives. And the top four's done. We're not even going to qualify for the Champions League group stages because it's going to be Napoli and fucking Ajax. Because we can't string two passes together. And we also can't mark a fucking footballer. These aren't John Cena. It's not like you can't see them. You can very much fucking see them. The blue balloon wearing knobheads. The fucking... Divies, these are sound footballers, and Napoli are, good, are a good football team, but they're definitely not good enough to be beating us 4-0. And you're making Zielinski look like the Polish fucking Iniesta, which in itself is humiliating, embarrassing, and quite frankly, oh, just a big shame. A big, big shame on all your faces. And I want to see us string the ball and be able to pass the ball a bit better. This is better. Luis Diaz on the attack. He cuts inside. He takes a shot! And he scores! Come on, get the ball, get the ball, get the ball, get the ball. Get the ball, get the ball. Comebacks on. The comebacks on. Bit more agency. Oh, come on, Luis Diaz. My fucking player. Or was it Robertson? Now it was Luis Diaz on the cutting side, ball into the box. And the thing I'll say about Luis Diaz, he has not had a perfect performance, but he is our strongest goal threat in these in these dire times. By far the strongest goal threat. What a finish as well, by the way. Got it away from the goalkeeper. Nice bounce before it goes into the net. Great connection with the ball. And took his time. But I think that goal had a big part to play with Napoli. Sitting off just that little bit more. Ah, uh, we're 4-0 up. I'm, oh, we are. I need to lower the camera down. I've, I've knocked it. We need, to, we need to actually, like, reserve our energy for the next league game. We've won this game now. It's 49 minutes gone, and we're in the same position that we was after the first half. 